All right, guys, we're going to take a quick little look around at Ubuntu 1210 Quetzal, Quetzal or whatever you want to call it. All right, so <clears throat> I've been using it for about a, like a month and a half now, and I haven't really been posting any videos lately because I've been pretty much beta testing it. And um, I, I was trying to upload some videos, and it was just basically just me showing you a, a desktop that was crashing. So I didn't really bother with it. But recently, maybe like for like a week and a half now or two weeks, it's been pretty stable. And um, but anyways, it's pretty good. I actually like it quite a bit. Um, it's not in, in uh, it's not final yet. Um, it still has a couple more days to go, but it's still it's pretty much there. So we're gonna go ahead and have a little look around. Uh, but before I get to that, I did have some questions about the whole OpenGL bug and stuff like that with uh, Nvidia with the proprietary driver. Uh, with Precise Pangolin, uh, the 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 version before this one, as you're playing games, um, you can you get a really nasty uh, frame rate hit right when you're using Unity 3D. And um, let me just show you what I mean. So I did a little bit of a benchmarking with uh, the, the Haven uh, benchmarking tool. And with Precise 32-bit uh, with a crappy little dual core and a 550 Ti, um, I, I scored at 32 frames per second. And I know the, the dual core is bottlenecking the 550 Ti, but that's what I got. And with the newer one, uh, 1210, I believe I scored 36, 36.1. So there is an improvement there, right? And I tested both uh, GNOME Shell with uh, the older uh, Precise and this one, and you know they're about the same. You know what I mean? So there is some improvement there with uh, Unity and and Compiz and the open the driver. You know what I mean? The OpenGL, whatever you call it. So yeah, I, there is some improvement. And from what I understand, I believe they're going to be backporting some of these fixes to Precise, which is great because you know a lot of us are not going to really care to upgrade just yet. So. So anyways, uh, while I'm using Natalis, uh, they also fixed the damn, uh, what do you call it, the stupid, uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the title bar bug, you know, with the whole, the hand, you know what I mean, the little handle. So as you're uh, unsnapping windows, usually the little hand right here, the little crusher, will uh, pop way up here, or the window will shoot way down here. So that seems to be fixed, which is great, because that was very annoying. And also, oh yeah, also with Natalis, they're still using the older version from uh, Precise. I think it's uh, 3.4.2. So you still have all the features as before, because with the newer uh, release of GNOME Shell, uh, GNOME in general, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, 3.6, I believe, uh, they, they gutted out Natalis pretty bad. So you still have your, all your features, you know what I mean? And also, if you're dual booting with Windows, you probably notice that uh, sometimes you have this little, uh, I guess like a, I guess your recovery partition or your or your um, your boot partition, we want to call it. Um, before it was visible here, but now they I guess they they uh, got rid of it, so you can't see it or, or mess up any any important files. You still can get access to your to your Windows partition if you if you have a if you have that installed. But anyways, let's go on with the dash. So as you can see here, I I search for my Nvidia settings right. And right off the bat, you notice that <clears throat> there's a little bit of a, <laughs> a row of advertisements. So for me personally, it does come across a little bit spammy. Um, you can turn it off if you wanted to. You can also remove the package that does that. Um, basically, if you just search for something, it'll bring something more or less similar to it of what you're searching for. So it did bring up you know, NVIDIA products. So it has a little uh, EVGA. It looks like a 650. Um, when, when I go here, if I choose to buy it, from what I understand, uh, Canonical will get some type of, a, you know, like a little kickback from it, you know, to help to support, you know, the, the, uh, the OS and the developers and stuff like that, pay for the, the server bills and stuff like that. I know they, they do get some type of money already, but it's not like, I guess, enough or whatever, which I'm perfectly fine with. If, if, if I can uh, contribute to the company by doing this and also donating, that's fine. I, I don't have no problem with that. Um, you can turn it off, like I said. Um, if you go into your privacy settings or system settings or whatever, let's go to system settings up here. So there's some other stuff I gotta show you. So privacy, and just turn it off. But when you turn off that, it's basically uh, turning off all the the online results in your dash and stuff like that. So it'll be turning off the Amazon results and I believe also like other stuff like um, any type of like uh, like. I guess social networking or whatever you have integrated that we turn off as well that's why I said you can also uh, I believe uninstall the package itself if you wanted to and keep the other stuff intact 
Um, I haven't done that yet or messed with it because I've, I've been just trying to use it as is. You know what I mean? And then not mess around with it too much. But anyways, in your privacy settings, the same thing as before. If you're if you're using precise, it's the same thing here pretty much in a nutshell. You can still control what you want to be displayed in your dash as you're as you're being, I guess, recorded. I guess, like in your recent history, like files and folders and stuff like that. That can be turned off down here or individually. Okay, so let's go back to all settings. Uh, they did add a lot of uh, online accounts now, a lot more than before, like Google, Flickr, uh, Windows Live, you know, all kinds of cool stuff, uh, Yahoo, you know what I mean? There's even a little legal notice down here as well. All right, I'll copy and paste all these little legal notices here and in the dash in the description down below so you guys kind of see what's going on. You know what I mean? Also that... Um, when you go to certain websites like uh, uh, like YouTube, I guess you get prompted for like little stuff like uh, to have like integrate into your dash if you want to. You can install, and when you install, it, you get a little like a YouTube uh, little icon in here and stuff. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that just yet. Anyways, what else? Ubuntu Software Center is pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's a lot snappier. It is quicker, but overall, it's the same general experience. Uh, one gripe that I do kind of have with it, which is no big deal, but I kind of wish they had like a little like a kind of like a checkbox system, like a shopping list. You know, throw into your basket, and when you're done with all your selections, you just check out. You know what I mean? Kind of like kind of like how the Synaptic Pack Manager works. You know, you just click on what you want to download and install. Then when you're done, you just apply it and, and just let it be. Um, overall it's still great you know it's still a cool little uh, um, it's come a long way so I'm trying to say it. it's it's actually pretty cool I like it a lot I, I actually use it now uh, before I was just using the straight you know terminal or the, or the synaptic but I enjoy using this now it's not too bad so anyways what else can I show you oh yeah and the, uh, the dash of course if you right click you get some options of your application I guess it tells you what's going on with it or what, what it is little overview you can even uninstall it or launch it as you're typing through your, your dash like uh, you're looking for something I guess like uh, like uh, let's see what, what do I don't have installed like uh, like 7 like 7 zip maybe it might give me an, a recommendation or maybe down here Oops, sorry about that. So here we go. Let's click on this. Or right click. Free download. Developer site. Let's go ahead and you know install that. It should launch the Ubuntu Software Center, I believe. If not, here we go. I guess not. There we go. It'll install the package you know, right away. So that's how that works. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. And also, you can play your music in the dash as well. You know, I mean, cool stuff. You know, right click on it. Um, you know, here's a couple sound files or, you know, from Daniel Tosh or whatever. Um, click play. It'll play within the dash. If you click play down here, it'll launch Rhythm Box. So, cool stuff. I, I'm digging this a lot. I believe the same with the videos, but I'm not going to get into that one. Here's some pictures of mine, of my, uh, you know, my personal fi pictures. I believe if you right click on it, it does some stuff too my little dog you can print email you know what I mean it's it's really really cool like I can't stress that enough I, I like what they're doing so they're finally bringing some 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 use to the dash other than just searching for stuff and, and whatever so that's great so I guess that's really it for now um, if you're curious about the themes and wallpapers um, basically the same as before ambience and radiance um, Nothing really new. It's a little bit more rounded off. Um, it looks good, actually. I actually don't change my themes too much now that I'm using uh, these two separate themes. You know, nice selection of wallpapers. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't enter the contest this year. Uh, maybe next next time around I will. But for uh, you know, creating wallpapers and stuff. There we go. 
so that's that's it really um i'll be following up with another video probably with uh, gnome show in a couple of days but um other than that that's it really um it's a good little good release if uh, if you don't like the whole uh, amazon stuff you can turn it off or uninstall it i'll be posting those links those those uh um license license stuff whatever in the description down below and um that's it for now really and uh, i guess i'll see you guys later